What's up everybody? Back again with another reaction. And first up for the day, I got the Square Enix presents a live stream. So, as you know, I, I obviously I didn't get to see this live, unfortunately, so I've been avoiding social media all day. So the only obvious thing I know, because they announced this a couple days ago, is they're going to be talking about the next Life is Strange game, which is awesome. So, with that being said, let's get it. This planet was supposed to be a fresh start. Instead, we live in fear. The anomaly storms have forced us underground, running from a planet that considers us prey. Mankind might be on the back foot, but we, we push forward. We don't hide. We don't run. We Damn. are fighters. Outsiders or outriders. Okay. Welcome to the show. We have a lot in store for you today. Updates on some of our most anticipated titles, new game announcements, and the world premiere of a new entry in one of our award winning franchises. Be sure you stay tuned until the very end to get all of today's updates. This is Square Enix Presents. Oh, don't worry, I will stay tuned. should play at being a god like you? I am not playing. Outriders, a co-op RPG shooter set in a dark original sci-fi universe created by People Can Fly. Previously part of the Epic Games Group, the studio is renowned for developing world-class shooters like Bullet Storm and the Gears of War series. This can't be happening! You people are insane! All of this is fucking insane! Oh, yeah, it is! Humankind is bleeding out in the trenches of Enoch, a once beautiful planet ravaged by a mysterious anomaly hyper evolving its flora and fauna to purge the virus that is humanity in other words you now enoch is hell off earth leading the colonization advance party the Outriders are devastated by an early storm. While most of the unit is wiped out, you not only survive, but are left altered. Something more than human. Now, with control over time, space, and matter, the Outriders have gained access to devastating anomaly energies. Demigods strolling through the battlefield, the tables have most definitely turned. With the anomaly flowing through their veins, 
Outriders have split off into four classes, each offering a different customizable playstyle and extensive. So basically, this is that while this is respectable, demands hard choices be made. Yeah. Infamous, you know, like, you know, like what if Infamous was like a, a like a shooter? Space will be your tastes. Deadly up close. The trickster will annihilate. It's like if they make Gears of War with uh, Infamous. Such as the temporal slice. Or if death from a distance is more your thing, the techno. Which, by the way, the speaking of, it was an Infamous. I know that's uh, Sucker Punch or whatever, but my question is, when are we going to get a new Infamous? The Devastator class is a tank in human form, a biological sledgehammer. Difficult to kill and dangerous to be near. The Devastator's control of gravity allows for brutal attacks, such as the Impale ability or Gravity Jump. Finally, there's the Pyromancer. A medium range class equipped to take out multiple targets at once. You may be easy to kill at close range, but you can leech energy from crowds of enemies or detonate thermal bombs to tear their flesh apart. Regardless of your choice, confidence is everything on the battlegrounds of Enoch. Each class has its own spin on a healing mechanic, which rewards health for performing certain actions that reinforce the class's playstyle. So get out of cover, throw yourself headfirst into the fray, and think aggressive. The Outriders' journey will take them beyond humanity's furthest exploration of Enoch, as they fight to discover the source of a mysterious signal. From the snow-capped heights of Eagle Peaks, to dense jungles and arid deserts, deadly enemies that have adapted to their environment to wait. There's plenty to discover off the beaten path, too. Outriders is rich with side quests and additional story. You may be pulled into a search and rescue mission, drawn in to investigate a menacing cult, or asked to track and kill hyper-evolved creatures in the wild. Each quest allows you to scavenge for new gear and weapons, to wear or trade with the duplicitous street vendors of humanity's new settlements or NPCs in your own convoy. And then, of course, there's armor and weapon mods, which allow you to further tweak your gear with modifiers that can have a dramatic effect on how your abilities play out in combat. Layer in a full crafting system, and the staggering depth of Outrider's loot system begins to become evident. You'll need to be fully in tune with your gear and abilities if you expect to survive the game's post-campaign content. Expeditions. With a level threshold to take part, Expeditions is only for the hardiest of Outriders, pitting you against the most lethal adversaries Enoch has to offer. Considered a suicide mission by most, your journey through the hellscape of Enoch is made possible thanks to the Outriders Convoy, a mobile hub which moves through the world, which can be customized with body kits, paint jobs, and, uh, oh yeah, the skulls of fallen enemies. Trophies from battle aren't worth much if they can't be shown off. Your convoy will accompany you as you join a friend's game in co-op, where your achievements can get the eyeballs they deserve. This is all just the tip of the iceberg. As the Outriders travel further beyond humanity's reaches, the strange, horrific truths of Enoch begin to reveal themselves. Wow, that is actually coming out pretty soon. Lara Croft, the iconic female action hero, burst onto the video game scene. Oh Lord, here we go, ago. new Tomb Raider. Guns blazing and pickaxe in hand, she continues to inspire new generations today. This year marks the 25th anniversary of Tomb Raider, and we are so excited to celebrate alongside fans throughout 2021. Over the years, Lara has uncovered lost tombs, solved ingenious puzzles, survived treacherous traps, and saved the world many times over. She's also become a pop culture icon who has inspired countless fans around the world to embrace their adventurous side and to just keep moving through challenging times. 
We have some exciting partnership news to celebrate Lara's 25th, including the recent reveal of a Tomb Raider anime series in collaboration with Netflix and Legendary Television. And what? talent updates for the next big screen installment of Tomb Raider featuring Alicia Vikander. Lara's also all over the oh, game space, sick. and we're working with talented teams on crossovers for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint and War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. What is the Lost Valley statue is also progressing extremely well, and we can't wait to share the final paint with you in the coming months. And we're thrilled to announce that a Tomb Raider cookbook is coming later this year from Insight Editions, which will allow fans to bring recipes from Lara's global adventures back home. We're also announcing today a new digital bundle that will give the world a chance to play Lara's reboot adventure in its entirety. The Tomb Raider Definitive Survivor Trilogy follows Lara's origin from a survivor to the modern day Tomb Raider. We've only just kicked off Lara's 25 year festival. So keep an eye on our social channels for more nostalgic content, fan celebrations, and exciting surprises throughout the year. If I don't survive, none of us will. I've come so far. I'm not turning back. Get ready! What would you do? And on our way out, we have one last surprise. That's what I thought. Lara Croft has now arrived in Fortnite. But that's not oh. the end of our epic collaboration. Croft Manor is coming to Fortnite Creative as a playable adventure on March 23rd. That's Alliance it? Studios has been hard at work on the hub and we can't wait for you to play it next week. Be sure to check out Fortnite Creative and Fortnite.com on March 23rd to learn more. When you're on the go, you don't lose your passion for gaming. So we're bringing some of our most popular characters and brands to mobile. That was lame. I thought they were going to announce like a new Tomb Raider or something. That's what that was. They're bringing just cuz to was it phones? How? Just cause mobile. And you you're gonna have to have a really good phone to play that I can tell already. Greetings 426. This is a unique oh. opportunity. A hitman mobile game. To fill. Well, another to one. Succeed, you will need to work together. And strike from the shadows. Proceed at your discretion. Good luck. Hitman Sniper Assassins.
doesn't tell me too much. Just that it's going to be a Space Invaders game for the phone. The rides weren't playing tricks on you. Square Enix Montreal and Taito are collaborating on a new vision for the Space Invaders brand. With an upcoming mobile game built on innovative AR technology. And now let's take a look at a few more delightful games from Taito. <laughs> the song slaps. <laughs> Oh, this looks cool. Ooh. Bubble bobble. Seen anything new from that in a long time? Whoa! That's cool, dude. <laughs> ah, there's that iconic music. Oh, they got classic mode too. Bubble Bobble 4, friends. Let's shift our attention to Marvel's Avengers. We've come a long way since launch, and today, Earth's Mightiest Heroes are launching on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S, and the team's roster is growing. Avengers, you finally arrived. Bruce? It's only the maestro now. Breathe in the desolation that surrounds you, Barton. I will save you from it all. I had to do a double take for about five seconds. I thought, I was like, wait, they're adding coal from the infamous in the Avengers? What the hell? No, it's not. It's all kind. Also, what's up with Old Man Hawk? This extended gameplay from Operation Hawkeye, Future Imperfect. Hey, Hawkeye! Long time. Good to see you. How's my dog doing? Look, he's great. I love that dog. Uh, but wait, did, didn't you move out today? What? No. What makes you say that? They said they were movers. I don't know. Linton Francis Barton. What great timing. Do I know you? Watchdogs. Name's Hired Guns. Surrender quietly, or die noisily. You thinking what I'm thinking? This goon squad is going down. Move the plate! Jeez. He may as well be freaking cold from infamous. He's got pretty much same, the, the, the same exact damn moves. This was a bow and arrow. So, uh, what's your plan? I left Yuri in the future when I jumped back through the time bridge. If he's alive, I'm getting him out. Then we can use this Project Omega Intel to stop the end of the world. Fair enough. Let's find him. Got eyes on the mercenaries. Knocking loose, Kate. Also, is that Ashley Birch doing her voice? AKA Chloe Price? Yeah. 
People live in a world like this. A memorial. Whatever I thought they might have been through, it's worse. All these missing people. You think they're still out there? I don't know. Did you think the Supreme Leader hadn't noticed you? You shouldn't be here. And soon you won't be. Taskmaster? <laughs> He's an ugly washed up shield agent in the future, too. Oh, Taskmaster. I haven't seen anything from Taskmaster since freaking Marvel vs. Capcom 3. into some upcoming content. Nice. Dr. Rappuccini, I read your proposal. I must admit, I'm disappointed. You have the men. You have the tech. All you need now is me. Full-scale invasion. So, you get me the army. I'll get you the vibranium. Sincerely, Claw. Black Panther. Oh, it's just more DLC. Phew. In this next game, you will take center stage to restore balance and happiness in a magical world. way to save the day is together yo this looks awesome your fears find your balance true happiness is an adventure balan wonder world that looks 
freaking awesome. Next up, the world premiere of the next major Life is Strange game. Hell is yes, let's go. It's the moment I've been waiting for. When I moved to Haven Springs, I hadn't seen my brother Gabe in years. Alex! <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. Welcome to Haven. This place is pretty sweet. I'm glad you two met, because this dude, my best friend, and this dude hands me the best beers. <laughs> Alex, right? I'm Steph. I didn't realize Whoa. we all knew you were coming for the first Wait. time in years. Well, what do you think? I love it. I really let myself believe. Welcome home. I don't know what to believe now, except Gabe is dead. This was for you, Gabe. Hearing everyone talk about my brother, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Alex, are you okay? No. They're definitely hiding something. So I guess it's safe to say that, yeah, this one is even connected to the first one. Here. Haven's a community. We help each other. Alex, be careful. There's something you should know about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. Oh, so she's an empath. If they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. When I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And if somebody's feeling something big, it infects me and I lose control. I've never told anyone. But now I can find out what's really going on. You'll need help. I've got your back. Life has changed true colors. Welcome to the world premiere of the next major game in the Life is Strange series, developed by Deck Nine Games. I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune, and I'm a musician and a huge Life is Strange fan. So I'm super excited to be your host for today's show. If you're not familiar with the games, Life is Strange is a series of standalone adventures that explore dramatic, emotional stories about regular people, but with a stunning twist of the supernatural. Life is Strange True Colors features a brand new cast, power, and story, so it's the perfect place to jump in if you're new to the series. Now, let's throw the spotlight over to Deck Nine Games director, Zach Garris and Erica Mori, the actor behind our brand new well, lead, now, Alex Chen. Now, all of them are all new. Life is Strange True Colors is a game we at Deck Nine have been working on since 2017. It has been a real labor of love for us. We are so delighted to share it with you today. At its heart, this is a game about empathy, about how we connect to each other. The story is driven by a complex mystery with supernatural elements, all brought to life by an incredible cast, led by our new player character, Alex, played by Erica Mori. What I love most about Alex is she's this smart, resilient young woman who, at the start of the game, has already weathered a really difficult life in the foster care system. But she still has this hope for the future, that somewhere she can find a place to call home. At the invitation of her brother, Alex travels to the town of Haven Springs. It's a fresh start, framed against the beautiful mountain vistas, sprawling lakes, and colorful architecture, a setting that embodies the promise of every small town across America. It's her chance to start over in a place where she can rebuild her relationship with Gabe after eight years apart. Alex! <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? In Life is Strange True Colors, Alex's power, or curse, as she calls it at the start of the game, is an unparalleled empathic ability. 
the psychic power of empathy. It allows her to experience the emotions of other characters around her, but it's also a volatile power that can bleed into and take over her own emotions if she's not careful. This power is a key part of the game and very much under your control. And there are plenty of opportunities to use your power as you freely explore the streets and spaces of Haven Springs. On her very first day in Haven Springs, Alex meets our cast, including two new friends and potential romantic interests, Brian and Steph, who fans may recognize from Life is Strange Before the Storm. That's what I thought. Our extensive cast of characters is at the heart of every moment of the game, and for the first time, they're rendered using full performance capture technology, captured and animated here in-house at Deck Nine. Making this the most visually advanced entry in the series, and the true next generation of Life is Strange. In Life is Strange True Colors, the mystery surrounding Gabe's death is what ties everything together. After Alex's brother dies in what appears to be an accident, Alex quickly realizes there's a larger story behind what happened to him, and she's determined to get to the truth. It becomes clear that only Alex, using her psychic power of empathy, can uncover what really happened. We can't wait for you to experience Alex's journey. This is your chance to build your own future for her and for the entire town of Haven Springs. Thanks, guys. And there's one more thing. I'm excited to reveal that I'm providing Alex Chen's in-game singing voice. As a longtime fan of Life is Strange, being even a small part of this universe and of Alex means the absolute world to me. Here's a short clip of Alex feeling uncertain after having a rocky start to her first day in Haven Springs. When you were here before, could you look you in the eye? Wait, I know this one. Dress like an angel. This creep by Radiohead. Skin makes me cry. Float like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so very special, but I'm a creep. Copyrighted so hard, but I don't care. The song is freaking awesome. I feel that so excited for this game, and I hope that you're feeling the exact same way after this first look. And now, the big news that you've been waiting for we're absolutely thrilled to announce that the full game is coming out in September. That's right, the full game. You won't have to wait for the rest of the story. You can binge it all at once or use the chapter breaks to take a much needed emotional breather. You can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors right now on lifeisstrange.com. Nice. About time. There's also one more very special thing we've yet to reveal. We're delighted to announce that Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm return in an all-new remastered collection featuring enhanced visuals and animations. That is freaking awesome. The Life is Strange Remastered Collection will be available as a part of the Life is Strange True Colors Ultimate Edition and also available standalone later on this year. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to keep an eye on the Life is Strange channels for more.
Obviously, I will have this day one because I am a huge Life is Strange fan. And our final update today comes from the team at Luminous Productions. Yeah, this. I showed this last year to hey PlayStation I'm thing. Ella today I am super excited to finally announce that I play the lead character Frey in working title Project Athia, a brand new IP from Square Enix and Luminous Productions about a young woman in a beautiful yet threatening world. The development team has been working super super hard to create this remarkable journey and it's been incredibly exciting to be a part of it. Frey is a character I immediately connected with when this project was first brought to me and I've had so much fun working with the team to bring her character to life in performance capture and voice recording sessions. While we're not quite ready to reveal everything today, we do have a sneak peek at a brand new scene from the game and the final name to share, so please enjoy. Hide. Is that a motherfucking dragon? should leave this place as well. I walked in out there. So it's called Forspoken? Is that what we're looking at? Joining us to see what's in store from studios across Square Enix, but there is more to come. Be on the lookout for our next Square Enix Presents this summer. Uh, this is just a montage of what they showed. Okay. Oh. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait till the summertime for the next one. See, this is why I don't have high, too high expectations when it comes to these things, because was it that Nintendo was it direct? That one was okay. I had a couple like out of nowhere, it's like surprises. Then freaking I uh, was it the uh, Sony one was okay. I mean, aside from like the the reveal of the DLC for Final Fantasy uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake, which kind of I'm still kind of aggravated about that. It's the the DLC is PS5 exclusive. You know, a little salty about that. But I what else? There was something else that came out or whatever that I don't know. But I. But yeah, don't get me wrong, like, I, I'm happy, you know, about the whole Life is Strange, you know, was it the new Life is Strange game, plus, was it uh, the remastered Life is Strange games, you know, that that's, you know, pretty awesome. I, like I said, I definitely will have that new Life is Strange day one, but, uh, yeah, anyways, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thanks.